Greetings, 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 and welcome to another exciting episode of Caribbean Classroom. This one going to be just as informative as the last, we hope, and um, we're asking you now, get pen and paper, get out your blackberry in there. Um, tonight, we're speaking to foreclosure experts, people who know about foreclosure, people who have taken on the system and are now literally gaining victories. So those of you who might know somebody who are in foreclosure, you might know somebody who may or may not be sure as to where the next mortgage payment is coming from. You might know somebody who just simply just bought a house and they may one day have to face this kind of information or this kind of situation. So tonight's program is a good one to watch. It's a good one to call a friend or call a neighbor or call your enemy. Uh, call your real estate broker and have him watch the show. Um, call your lawyer, he might learn something or she might learn something tonight because we're talking foreclosure and we're talking about people who have taken on the system. This is a notification. It says threat do not open garbage bag, right? And this is one of my guests, uh, well, garbage, that if I, if I can flip this over on you, this is what it says. Deborah Seabrook, do not open garbage bags or do not trespass, um, do not trespass to the, oh, do not trespass to the backyard. It is the last warning. So Deborah, explain this to me, please. Okay, um, unknown to me, they had taken out a conversion case after they took a landlord tenant case out and the conversion case was dismissed. They um, took possession of my property without a warrant and later I found out without court approval to take my personal belongings. So, so in this bag here, these bags are your personal belongings? So um, I found the deed, the original deed to my house, um, mortgages, um, documents that dated back to the 1850s that um, my grandfather had collected in his library in various bags of garbage that they were throwing out. Mm. They called the police um, on a regular basis and the police told them originally that once they put it out on the curb it was public. Uh, yeah, public and that they couldn't do anything. Um, and I had, my neighbors and I had dragged a lot of garbage bags into other neighbors yards so that they would not be um, Public. Yeah, they wouldn't Public. be picked up by right, by the sanitation. And, and I'm going to stop you right. Okay. I'm going to stop you right there for now, mm -hmm. uh, because I, I I mean I rudely just ignored <coughs> everybody else on the panel and went straight to you because you were here last month mm -hmm. and we had the conversation going as to some of the trials and tribulations that you went through. Mm -hmm. So, but um, so you who you just heard from is Miss Deborah Seabrook, who has been fighting for how many years now? Uh, it's. 19 years. 19 years Since fighting the system, trying to get your property back. Mm -hmm. Not very various six. properties. Various that's properties. The, that's, that's the last one. This one, because <laughs> yeah. you have properties here in, in, in I had another Queens. property in Queens, in East Elmhurst, East Elmhurst and, a, property. and a property in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. that were all tied to. They tie all of them together mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. snatch them from you. Right. And next to Ms. Um, next to Ms. Deborah, I mean, this name had me thrown. You, you threw me with the name Mr. Brandon, <laughs> is because both names look like last names. <laughs> it's Siron. Siron Brandon Brandon. from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Which Best part of Brooklyn? Bed-Stuy. bed, -Stuy. bed, -Stuy bed -Stuy never die. Do or die. <laughs> there you go. Do or die, bed -Stuy. So next to Mr. Siron. Um, Siron. Siron. Yes. There you go. Um, I have uh, Ms. J. Kim. Yep, that's And right. J. Kim, by full disclosure, uh, is a, with a, an organization called Common Law NYC. That's right. We're a not-for-profit organization. Who helps? Homeowners in foreclosure. We've been doing this since 2008. And has been quite successful. Yes. That's what we I found We believe so. We believe so. That's what I found out. That's what I found out. <laughs> and the man of the hour, the man who actually pulled us all together <laughs> for this particular <laughs> program, <laughs> I had to give him title as, as, I guess, associate producer, is Mr. Matthew, Mr. Matthew Bowen. All right. Matthew Bowen from again you know you tell me you, you created an organization called mm -hmm. foreclosure, foreclosure resistors. resistors yes and so that means you're fighting the foreclosure system system giants and all other people and well i have fought and i won more than once yes we've had three different judgments mm -hmm. in my favor mm -hmm. and um 
I consider myself lucky because I, through common law, mm -hmm. I got the education, the knowledge that was necessary in order to fight and win my case. Mm -hmm. And um, I made it a point that wherever there were homeowners in need of help and knowledge, I would try to reach them. And when I, when we got in touch with each other, other I was only too enthusiastic to come <laughs> on. And well, I'm glad that you, uh, you know, that enthusiasm carried over, and so got me, put me in touch with Miss Karen mm -hmm. Gagamali. Not bad, not bad. Gagamali. Gagamali. Yeah. Oh, I don't say it like Gagamali. Yeah. Not Gagamali, yeah. but Gagamali. Okay. There you go. There you go. Miss uh, Karen Gagamali. Mm -hmm. Also of common law. Yeah, Jay and I are common law. We are this nonprofit organization. We're both attorneys, and we've been doing foreclosure prevention since 2008. So now, as attorneys doing this foreclosure prevention, mm -hmm. um, you guys see a lot of things mm -hmm. and run into a lot of things. Why don't we have more lawyers like you taking on those kind hmm. of cases? There hmm. are quite a bit of foreclosure prevention attorneys in the city. Well, they are? There are. There are, and they work at nonprofits, and they're available through various means. You can call 311 and get in touch with a foreclosure prevention attorney in any borough. Okay, that's good to know. But we are the only attorneys that work with homeowners representing themselves. Ah. So that is our particular role. So you know, in okay, this well, process. okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Yep. No, I hear attorney, uh -huh. and so next to attorney song, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Yeah. It sounds money like for me. Yeah. And and That's and, right. and so you doing common law? Mm -hmm. How you get your funding if you if you? So like every other nonprofit legal services in the city, there are grants available. We apply for those grants, and so then we're able to offer free legal services to homeowners. True, true, free, true, true, free. True. True. Okay. I'm about to get crazy right true. now. No, true. I'm about to get crazy because hello i mean come up on three please come up on three absolutely no cost. she said free the word free like the library i mean i work at the library so when i hear free it means that nobody coming in with any uh -huh. back end right. like yeah <laughs> no matter. exactly and i think that's the point if somebody's charging you something is probably wrong but yeah i mean if you go up to you call up the attorney mr attorney i have a case here da, da. deborah told me last month that um even the the guy who is in charge of the of the Queens Legal Aid Queens Bar Association, Queens Bar Association mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that put uh, put himself at odds with you because you decided to fight him. Well, he put himself on the deed, the forged deed to my property, and that's a serious serious mm -hmm. charge, right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the Queens Bar Association could forge mm -hmm. or put a name on the forged deed, that's a serious charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, Jay. Yeah. Like I'm looking at the attorneys now because I mean, yeah, that is a serious <laughs> charge. <laughs> serious I mean, listen, we're both attorneys, but that doesn't mean that we're particularly proud of our profession. Exactly. There are lots of attorneys out there that are just trying to make a buck, mm -hmm. right? And that's one of the biggest dangers, right there. Foreclosures are public information. Mm -hmm. Anybody can find out who's in foreclosure. And if you receive solicitations from law firms, they shouldn't be doing that. And no attorney can guarantee your results. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be knocking on your door, asking you if you want to sell, what your situation That's is, right. trying to get your phone number. None of that should be going on. Mm -hmm. So that happened to you? Well, that happens to me every day mm -hmm. because the reason why I'm in this is because I own a property that's not mine. I didn't purchase it. Okay. It's just tied to me because it's through my family, my mother and my grandmother's first home. And I just helped them out by helping them take an equity loan out. Mm -hmm. That It was supposed to be an equity loan so they can take the money and buy a bigger home. We can buy it together. Mm -hmm. And somehow, through faulty paperwork and what countrywide home loan services that got put out of business for these mm -hmm. wrongful doings, put that I purchased the home. So now I own that home and only owe a little bit of money on the home I actually put into. You purchase. own that home through default. Not that you own that home, own that home. Right. It's true. I mean, based on what they say you did, but you didn't own the home. No, I didn't purchase it. I didn't ask to purchase it. I didn't sign any paperwork saying I was purchasing it. But you no, just put my name, copy and paste. But no, that, 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 that property is now in foreclosure. Well, uh, it's not in foreclosure. I'm in a process with the help of these two young, lovely ladies here. I'm, I'm coming back to the it, That it never got to that point because okay. they explained to me and showed me uh, the situation about how do you go about it, it, One was an answer. You have a bank saying from nowhere that they own your property and you owe set amount of money, which I don't. Mm -hmm. And I want to know where did you come up with this idea that I owe you something mm -hmm. and how much? Because I've never signed any paperwork for it. 
So where is it at? But it's a certain way it needs to be said and put on paperwork, which is called an answer. Oh, that's so, legal language. Yes. Yeah. And so one of the things that I think we wanted to really emphasize tonight is that you have legal rights and you should be asserting them. Yes. So if you're on the phone with the bank and you are having long, lengthy conversations and you're faxing paperwork, just because you're in communication with a bank or their servicer doesn't mean that you're asserting your rights. In fact, the only way that you can protect yourself is appearing in court. Yes. And just because you are going to court doesn't even mean that you've asserted your rights. All of your rights need to be in an answer. Exactly. And so one of the things that we do at the clinic, one of the things that we try to tell other people when we're meeting them and talking to them, is all of your legal rights are contained in an answer. All of your defenses, whether they didn't serve you properly. Well, who's providing the answer? The, 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 the bank? No, you no. are responding. It's your answer. Homeowners should be sitting, submitting answers, to which is the to court. the court. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. To summons and complaints mm -hmm. served by banks. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. so and most people ignore that. Exactly. <laughs> and then there's a default judgment that's right. if you don't show up in court. Mm -hmm. And then that's where you lose your property. But I know Deborah, Deborah has mm -hmm. a few things to say. Let me ask you this. I'm looking at both of you, lawyers, attorneys, common mm -hmm. law. Mm -hmm. How big is your staff? You're looking at all of common law. It's the two of us. It's the two of us. Wait, you've been doing this from when again? 2008. 2008. I'm not good at the math. Today's 2013. That's five right. years. Eh? Five, five years. years. That's five years. <laughs> so for five years, you, you're producing results, yes? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And people are satisfied and people are staying in their homes. Yeah. How are you able to do this with just two people? Well, we have a weekly legal clinic, and like Karen said, the bulk of our work is supporting homeowners who are representing themselves. So we have information, we have knowledge as attorneys, and our job as common law is to share that information. Like Mr. Bowen loves to say, knowledge is power. And you hear, you know, Saran and Matthew speak about the legal issues as fluently as Karen and I do, and that's part of our work, right? So you're training the homeowner to become... Uh, yes. Call it experts at their own. That's, That's right. right. Exactly. Because they know their cases better than anyone, mm -hmm. right? Karen and I have had uh, clients, represented homeowners, mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, homeowners are going through this every single day, right? And our responsibility is to make sure that homeowners understand where they are and are able to speak about it freely. And we've definitely carried on that tradition with our legal clinic on Now, Tuesday you are nights. located in Manhattan, in Brooklyn, in Queens, where? Our legal clinic is in Manhattan. Manhattan. It's Tuesday nights from 6.30 to 8.30. It's free. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you're, going, <laughs> nah. you're throwing the information out quickly there. Sure. Tuesday nights. 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. And you can call our office at 212-213-3920 to schedule an appointment. 3920. 20. 20. And the two, two one two two uh -huh. one three two three one three nine two zero three nine two zero. The that's first common law that's that's right. office. Is there a website? Commonlawnyc.org. You see, um, some of us we kind of slow, <laughs> and you know sometimes the pen stop writing. Sure. <laughs> common law l a w one word mm -hmm. nyc dot o r g dot o r g mm -hmm. right. The and, and so then somebody logging onto that website now can pull up information as to your services. That's right, that's right. And again, you're emphasizing that the services are free. That's right. Yep, and it's for free. homeowners who are representing themselves and want information and education about this process. And your clinic meets every Tuesday night? That's right. Where? In Manhattan. In Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So they can call and get the directions yeah, and locations. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right? Exactly. No. I just want to add. Yes, sir. It only costs you your fare to get there, whether you're driving or you're taking public transportation. That all it costs you. And I also want to add that, honestly, people, you know what's going on in your life with this major situation. This is a major purchase if, because you understand it, how my situation arrived, you purchased a home. If you know that something is wrong, this bank, this real estate company has done something. Maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't. You're getting pieces. Acknowledge that you have a situation. Acknowledge the problem. Don't worry about your neighbor down the block, how you want to look. Don't worry about your pride. We all have that. But the most important thing is they take care of this situation as soon and as fast as possible. Don't wait. Don't ignore. Don't listen to hearsay. Go about what you need to go about to handle this in a prompt way. Mm -hmm. And efficient. Fight. Let's go for efficient. Efficient, Because yes. Jay and... Uh